Should we maybe just cook him? If prepared correctly, canned tuna can be great. If not, the results can be quite horrifying. To avoid any pitfalls, here are 10 mistakes everyone makes with canned tuna. Improper storage. Did you store it or did she store it? Tuna is one of those items that you should always store properly or face the consequences of the tuna going bad before the Best Buy date. If stored near heat or light, it can cause considerable damage to your precious tuna. According to a study conducted by the University of Minnesota, you should not expose canned goods to temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, as foods like canned tuna can risk spoilage. The recommended temperature, in contrast, is below 85 degrees Fahrenheit, preferably between 50 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit in order to keep the tuna in top prime condition for eating. Temperature conditions and light due to storage are both key aspects of spoiled canned tuna. It's also recommended that all canned fish is stored on shelves rather than on the floor. This prevents the destruction, crushing, and rusting of cans and keeps them in tip-top shape. The oldest tuna cans should also preferably be stored in the front to use them up first, with the newer ones being stored in the back. This will greatly reduce the chance of your tuna spoiling as you take out the older cans first. It worked! It worked! Storing canned tuna properly is key in ensuring that it's fit for consumption and to be able to access it for a long time to come. It may be simple, but remembering these steps could reward you with a considerable amount of mileage out of each can. Tossing the tuna too soon. Not yet! Not yet! Another major mistake that can be made concerning canned tuna is actually throwing the cans out too early. We all want to ensure that the fish we eat is fresh and not out of date, but people can jump the gun on this and waste perfectly good food. Canned tuna is one food that, contrary to popular belief, has quite a long shelf life. According to the USDA, canned tuna can last up to five years in storage, as long as it's kept in a dry, cool location, of course. Five years is longer than it takes to graduate from university. If you're out on the seas and catching your own fish, however, it will naturally spoil much quicker, being good for about one year if frozen. It's important to know that you can keep tuna for longer than you may say saving time and money. It's also equally important to know when it must be thrown out to avoid unpleasant smells or a subpar food experience. For fresh tuna, leftovers can be kept in the fridge for up to three days, and the same applies to tuna salad. Knowing the proper times for tuna storage is imperative in the quest to save money and avoid expired fish disasters. Tossing out the tuna too late. Now it's too late. In contrast to tossing the tuna out too early, the flip side of that is another mistake oh, that people no. make far too often, tossing out canned tuna too late. While we can take a chance on the expiry date on some foods, specifically with non-perishable canned or boxed goods that have a longer shelf life than fresh produce and other foods, however, as the fishy smell will tell you, this is not the best practice for any seafood, let alone canned tuna. The best way to tell if the tuna is not fit for consumption is by first checking the best before or expiry date on the can, and secondly, if the date is cutting it close, you should open up the can and give it a smell. And you should be able to tell whether or not the tuna is fit for consumption at all. I don't need that one. Another way to see if the tuna has spoiled is to see if water spurts out of the can upon opening it. If this is the case when it's opened, it's a surefire way to know that your tuna has indeed gone bad. This is an indicator of toxins and bacteria being present in the tuna, which can be incredibly dangerous if consumed. First time here? Well, there's no danger in hitting that subscribe button. It only takes a second. Thanks. Not draining the canned tuna properly. Make sure you did it right. Preparing canned tuna is extremely straightforward, right? Well, this isn't completely the case. Though it isn't completely essential to drain the water from a tuna can in order to eat it, you can often end up with a soggy sandwich or salad with way too much water being left over in the tuna. Draining the water from canned tuna properly also gives you beneficial health impacts. Tuna packed in oil, for example, comes with more calories, clocking in at a shocking 317 calories per can. Compared 
to the tuna that is canned in water, which only contains 150 calories. The downside is the excess sodium that is contained in the water that the tuna comes packed in. The excess sodium and some of the calories can be removed by draining the liquid. But how do we do that? There are multiple ways to go about the task of draining the extra water from the tuna can. The first of these methods is making a small hole in the can, flipping it upside down, and allowing the water to come out, preferably over a sink. The second method incorporates removing the lid entirely, putting it back on, and squeezing the can so the excess water and liquids are removed. The last method contains dumping the tuna into a colander and draining out the water. Not inspecting the can sufficiently. No, well, you should be more careful. Every can of tuna you encounter in the grocery store is different, so it's key that you always check and inspect the can thoroughly and carefully before deciding which one to purchase. A mistake that people make far too often is not checking for the best before date, looking for dents, scratches, rust, and leaks as well. Taking the time to follow these small steps are all ways to ensure that you purchase the highest quality product. Leaks and larger dents are the biggest things to avoid. However, some of the other ones are still suitable suitable if the damage is not too substantial. Ensuring that you choose the can that will last you the longest is key and will keep your options open for the future. Nice choice, Fido. This goes for all canned foods and not only canned tuna. It helps to inspect multiple cans thoroughly before you decide on which one you want to choose. This strategy is imperative for choosing a can that will be of great quality. Inspecting your cans carefully and closely before putting them in your basket takes little effort and will ensure that you're not wasting money in the long run. Not choosing environmentally friendly and sustainable options. That's both environmentally friendly Choosing environmentally friendly products has become an important priority for many people these days. We all need to try and do our part to contribute towards making better choices for the Earth and future generations. Sustainability is also incredibly important, and when it comes to tuna, you should always be aware of where your fish is coming from as a way to support sustainable fishing. Many of these issues regarding tuna were brought to light in the 1980s when people became aware that dolphins and other species of fish were dying due to tuna. Tuna fishing. This has been addressed in recent years with labels being used to indicate that no dolphins or other fish are killed in the production of the tuna. There's no harm done, really. There are also terms to look for, such as pole caught, fad free, and school caught, which support environmentally friendly and sustainable brands. Not choosing lower mercury options. This cup, it's poisoned. Mercury consumption is another dangerous mistake that everyone needs to be careful of when it comes to canned tuna. Children and those who are pregnant are particularly vulnerable, but this deadly substance can affect everyone. Mercury can build up in fish tissue over time, and that mercury can be transferred to humans when consumed. When high levels of mercury are consumed, it can have various physical and mental health effects, leading to brain cell deaths and result in diminished fine motor skills, memory focus, and logic skills as well. Studies show that people exposed to mercury also experience more depression and anxiety and achieve a greater risk of heart disease. Due to this fact, tuna should not be consumed every single day. Eating tuna regularly can increase the mercury levels in your blood by a considerable amount, so it's recommended that tuna be eaten in moderation. Don't eat it! Skipjack or light varieties of canned tuna tend to contain less mercury and therefore are safer options to go for in most cases. In contrast, big eye and yellowfin tuna, on the other hand, are the major ones to avoid. As with all foods, moderation is the key. In the end, if you keep track and ensure that you're not eating too much tuna, you should be completely fine. Just be careful if you're an infant or pregnant using only water-packed tuna. Wanted to try other things. Water-packed tuna in cans is incredibly popular in many grocery stores throughout the world as an easy option that's often low in fat and calories, especially when drained properly. However, there are many benefits to venturing away from the classic water-packed tuna every once in a while. Many members of the culinary community say that when attempting to improve dishes such as tuna salad, using olive oil to pack the tuna results in a much better taste than water-packed tuna. The chefs online said that not only does using the oil provide better flavor, but it also gives the tuna a better texture as well, making it a win-win scenario for many recipes. The secret ingredient is 
though water-packed tuna would be the best if you're using heavy dressing for the tuna, for dishes like salad and pasta, the oil-packed variety is also the recommended way to go, and something that leaves your dishes even more tasty. Paying attention to the water versus oil in regards to tuna is something that makes any dish better, and olive oil is a versatile tool, too, to make things better. Not branching out with canned tuna. We will improvise then. Perhaps the most common mistake people make with canned tuna is not branching out beyond the basic element of the tuna straight from the can. This plain dish can be great for quick meals, hikes, or excursions when you need something fast and simple, but it can also become tired very quickly if you're not jacking it up with any additions or trying new recipes or anything like that. There are a plethora of different dishes that can be created, including sandwiches and wraps, tuna salad, tuna melts, casseroles, and even more. Tuna salad can be improved by adding various other ingredients as well, with red onion, celery, pickles, crispy fried onions, mayo, salt, and pepper being interesting and tasty additions to a tuna salad. Yummers. Pairing your tuna sandwich with some chips and veggies also makes it a perfect lunch item, something that goes well with another side such as coleslaw and a nice drink to wash everything down. Though canned tuna is a great place to start, branching out and being creative will make your experience even better. By branching out, you can discover new flavors and even discover new things you like and spread the joy to friends and family as well. Not choosing low-sodium tuna low sodium for Abe. Though canned foods are incredibly convenient and quick to make and great to have on hand, there are various downsides when it comes to the format of canned food. One of these downsides is that, on average, canned foods are much saltier than the fresh counterparts you would cook and serve at home. The average can of tuna contains about 250 milligrams of sodium per 3-ounce serving. That's more than 10% of your recommended daily sodium intake. This is incredibly concerning for those looking to cut down on their sodium intake. Objection! Unhealthy! To avoid disappointment in this region, it's imperative to look for cans of tuna that indicate that they are low in sodium content. It sometimes also helps to check the ingredients list if there's no label on the front of the can. It will often say something such as, no salt added, low sodium, or reduced sodium. Having these low sodium options is a way to enjoy more of what you like in a lighter and healthier form. The sodium content in canned tuna can also be reduced by draining the water from the can. So there are numerous ways to combat this sodium menace, and doing so will definitely be beneficial for everyone. We've got more! Just tap or click on another video. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.